Hello everybody guys, my name is Ivan and today we're going to be playing some Dead by Daylight. So today our streak of killers is going to be, um, well not our streak, but our, I don't even, I don't even know what I was about to say there, but, okay, guys, hello, today we are starting with Clown, okay, we're start, we're playing with Clown first, alright? That's it. That's the intro. Why to say that? Okay. Now, moving on to my next point. Um, let's discuss a little bit about the build that we're gonna be having. Um, let me see if I can clear these. Um, 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 um. um, um. What should I use? Um, I don't really have that many good perks on them. Uh, <sighs> Let's do this. No Ed. Okay. I mean, no. Uh, Hex Plaything. No Ed. Um. Barbecue and Chili. And then. Do I have Thrill of a Hunt? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, guys. So, let's go ahead and explain the build a little bit too. And the add ons we're going to switch to. But let's talk about the build first. So. Alright, our build is going to be Hex Plaything, No Ed, uh, Barbecue and Chili, and Thrill of the Hunt. So, you guys might be thinking, well, Ivan, why are you running Hex Plaything and No Ed? Well, uh, Plaything, basically this is a totem build, trying to protect my uh, No Ed, basically, that's it. Um, but basically, guys, plaything, what this does is, um, its aura, um, is revealed to the cursed survivor that, I guess, does the totem, I think, that, um, uh, does the normal totem, um, is cursed, um, hex, pla <laughs> hex plaything's totem aura is revealed to the cursed survivor when within 16 meters of it. So, whenever they're in the range, or the ter the radius of it, for the first 90 seconds, only the Cursed Survivor can cleanse the totem. So, um, I'm running that. And I don't know if this really complies with, or applies that to the Noed perk. I'm not sure. But, Noed, you guys should all know what that is by now. Um, I'm running these two because... I want to try to play around with Hex Plaything um, and Noah to see if maybe something might happen. Like it might uh, release another Noah totem if they um, destroy my Noah. I don't know. I'll play around with that. But yeah. Anyway, Barbecue Chili, that's to see um, the auras of the survivors after I hook them on a hook. Um, I can see all the survivors for a certain amount of seconds for four seconds um, when they're further than 40 meters from the hook. Um, and I can see if they're my totems or not, and then that way I can go over to them if they're on the to my totems, pressure them off of that, and force them to go to the generators and do those instead of cleansing. Um, and then Thrill of the Hunt, basically what I'm trying to do with my 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 um my hex perks here is to try to protect them with thrill of the hunt um then if thrill of the hunt gets destroyed these two will still be reliable will still be um there so basically guys to summarize this build um basically we're trying to protect our noad perks and pressure them off of cleansing totems basically that's what the build is um, now, add-ons, this is going to be tricky, but 
I want to try to choose them the ones that matter uh, thick thick corpse stopper decreases reload time by uh, intoxicated intoxication inflicts with mangled okay that yeah that could be good increases the hindered penalty from intoxicated by an additional five increases the size and spread of afterpiece tonic gas clouds by 20 um all right guys so i decided to do the two green add-ons um first of all we're going to do the sulfuric acid vial which intoxicated intoxication inflicts mangled so whenever the whenever i hit the survivors with my bottle um it causes them to be have the mangled status effect um <clears throat> Then we have the Flask of Bleach, which increases the hindered penalty from intoxication by an additional 5%. So that'll coincide with this. And that might also coincide with these two. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to play around with things, guys. It's, it's cool figuring out things by yourself, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that's basically the build. Um, now, what do I want to run for the map? What what map do you guys do you guys think I can properly showcase um, this build? Uh, it can't be a large one. It can't be a too small one. It has to be just the right one. Um, Schroth's house, absolutely not. Haddonfield, no. Uh, Larry's Memorial Institute, mm, I don't think so. Um, Midwich, I'm gonna keep that one in mind because maybe yes. Uh, McMillan's Estate, um, yeah, maybe that one too. Um, Backwater Swamp, I, I don't think so. Um, Red Forest, absolutely not. Uh, Yamoka f uh, Family Crest, maybe that one. Um, and do I have any others? No. So, I th think we're gonna go to... I think... You know what? I don't I don't really even know if I want to go to, uh... To Midwich. M not for this match, but maybe for the next match. But that, that would mean I would have to switch up my build. But I can't do that, which means I have to play a different killer in the next one, so... Um, you know what? Let's... Mm, this is a hard one. Um... Yeah... Let's go to Yamoka Family... Let's go to Yamoka Estate. I think we can... I think we can showcase it there. If we don't win, that's... That's fine, guys. That's absolutely fine. Um... But, I at least want to tell you guys that. Yeah. Now, guys, for, for this video, this, this video is going to be a little bit longer than an hour. Um, the other ones have been mostly like 50, 50 minutes. Um, but this one's probably going to be a little bit lo uh, longer than that. Probably at least uh, an hour and a half, maybe. Because... Um, after this match, I'm thinking if we should play Huntress next, or, um, or, or, I don't know, but, I don't think we should really concern ourselves with that part yet, because we're literally just starting a match as clowns, so. <laughs> oh, and guys, yes, uh, real quickly, let's just admire this clown skin, dude. Um, I just got this one. Um, looks pretty dope, actually. Now, I have the purple one, too. Let me know which one actually looks better, guys. Uh, this one or this one? I think this blue one does. I really like the color and texture of it. 
Uh, charms. What should we run for charms? Um, what that? Yeah, that looks pretty dope. Oh, wait, actually no. Let's do this since it's basically Christmas. <laughs> so, uh, um, oh, what else? Did, wait, this will put that on this one. Uh, what other charms? Um, <clears throat> see what do we got here. Um. Uh, Let's see, what are my other charms that we have? Uh, we have this. Don't really know what that one is. Uh, I need to hurry up here. Uh, I, like, I like this blood point more. <laughs> I'm all about these blood points. Alright, so. We have our guys here. Yui, Dwight, Claudette. Another Dwight. So two Dwights, one Yui, one Claudette. Um, let's see. The two, the two Dwights have a med kit. Um, the other guys don't have anything, so we probably need to watch out for Insta Heals or uh, Boon. They might have uh, the the Boon uh, perks. So whenever you hear like a loud uh, crash. Or something like that, a loud crash or uh, explosion effects. They probably have the boon, uh, the boon perks, or it's my, it, or it's my perk actually having value, the hex play thing. Uh, it's one or the other, but anyway, I think we can do this. Yamoka Estate <coughs> isn't that huge, but I don't think it's also that small either. It's like in between like medium probably. And I'm picking to go this one for the beginning of this video. Um and hopefully, you know we can get something useful out of this. So yeah. Yeah. And also, timestamps will be in the description box down below, or you can skip to any part of the video to um, skip past like discussing the builds because that that part is probably boring to you guys. I know you guys just want to see the gameplay, but I want you guys to also hear my thoughts, my ideas. Maybe you guys will run the same builds. You know, maybe <laughs> I don't know. You guys might have different ideas, but I might have the best. Okay, family residence. Here we go. Yamoka Estate. Alright. Okay. So. Widespread on the gens. Good. So. They can't be over there, right? Yeah, right. Um. Over here. Uh huh? Yep. Jesus, that scared me, dude. Alright, these guys are not <laughs> Bro, what is happening? Alright, I can't give up. Can't give up. Wait. 
Yeah, Claudette, yeah? <laughs> oh, now you're dead. right here. Let's stand to him. There's something doing my totem. Go. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I don't know why you want my attention. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I gotcha. All right, I'm gonna apply pressure and put him in the basement. Yeah. Now you guys are now you guys are done for, dude. And put you all the way in the back. Uh -huh. Hello, Dwight. You're the one I need, but I'm gonna push you away. Is anybody gonna try to come? This thing's back to zero. Phew. Titus gonna be a little smart. <laughs> See if we can down you real quick. Love you. Bro, wait. I knew they'd be doing that. So close, dude. Dead hard.
All right, go mend. We'll go back. What? Oh, he didn't mend. Haha, <laughs> 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 let's go. They disconnected, dude. <laughs> oh, Claudette. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> You poor thing, dude. You poor thing. Alright. Friends, Dwight. Good dead hard, buddy. Good dead hard. Good dead hard. All right, now we gotta quickly hook, then we'll go back. Uh huh. I can wait it out. Don't worry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Down. Uh, Yui, you want to show your face? <laughs> Gotta weigh up the DS on her. Where's your friends? Yui. I don't seem to see her anywhere. Kill himself. Alright. Well, let's. I guess we'll, uh. Pick you up. Jesus, dude. This. This game was something else. Alright, where is she? She's all the way over there. Let's see if she tries to find Hatch. Hopefully she doesn't. I don't think it's really gonna be over there. I think? I don't know. Oh, there she goes. Is she gonna find it? Oh, she found it. Okay. Oh, it got the 3K. I don't know why that guy disconnected, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, we won. We freaking won, dude. Wow. This guy was.
All right, dude. I don't want to get involved in that. Damn, that was a good one, though. I... And I didn't even have to use any anything with my build, dude. All right. So, let's go ahead and uh, see who we want to do next. Um... Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we do Huntress. Alright. Now, there are so many perks that I have on her, dude. I have legit, uh, hang on. I have legit one, two, three, four pages <laughs> of perks for her. Uh, so this is gonna be difficult to figure out what build I want to do on her. Uh, let's see. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Should I do a basement build? Now. If I'm gonna do a basement build, then we literally cannot hook anyone else. Um, we cannot, we literally can't hook anyone, um, beside, um, outside of the basement. You have to hook somebody in the basement. But, I don't know if I want to do that kind of build, you know? I, I don't feel like it. What I think I will do, though, is, is a, uh... Should we do another, should we do just like a pressure build or something? I, I, th I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, let's do, to slow things down a bit, let's do this. Alright, let's do Thanatophobia, Unnerving. Uh, oh man, and I have Hex Ruin too. I might, okay guys, I might do two games of Huntress for this one. Because Huntress is my most favorite killer in this game, I think. Um, so, for the first round of Huntress, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do these two, right? Thanatophobia and Unnerving Presence. Um, and... Eruption. Whales can cause damage. Um, and let's do Jolt. How about that? And the next round, the next round we'll do um, Hex Ruin. We'll do Hex Ruin. And then, um, um, And then, uh, eruption. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but this is our build. Um, so for any of you newcomers out there who are, like, sort of new to Dead by Daylight, but also are not really that, um, new to Dead by Daylight, let me just tell you this, alright? This build is pretty good on Huntress. Uh, especially if she can pressure a lot of people off of gens with her hatchets, it's pretty good. Um, so basically, Phantophobia, what this does is it makes um, all, all uh, injured, dying, or hook survivors uh, receive a penalty of 5% to a maximum of 20% to repair, sabotage, totem cleansing speeds, um... And so much more. So much more. Um, and, that, and that can also um, really apply to Unnerving Presence. Because what this does is um, if the killers... Let's, let's bring up like a survivor perspective, alright? I'm on a gen, right? I'm just casually on there with my friends doing gens. My survivor friends, they're doing gens with me. But then all of a sudden, uh-oh. Terror radius 
killer's coming up. Heartbeat. You hear the heartbeat? And then you get a skill check. But that is super, super, really, really small of a atom kind of small. Um, and then you try to get it, but then you miss. That, um, that basically says, and I quote, a greater chance of triggering skill checks when repairing or healing. Triggered skill checks, success zones are reduced by 60%, which means they're going to have a hard time at hitting those skill checks whenever I'm in their terror radius. And that's a good way to push them off the gens. Because then, if you push them off the gens, um, I will kick it with my eruption. And then whenever I down somebody um, next to it, or anywhere, that gen will blow up um, even more. And Underworld Presence is so good with that, dude. Um, these two are really good together. Now, eruption and jolt, I'm just... There's nothing really to explain about Jolt and Eruption. Um, basically what these two are is they regress. They regress generators like a god. <laughs> like our, our god that that made us, dude. Um, what Eruption does is whenever a survivor enters the dying state, every, um, every affected sur generator explodes, losing 6% worth of progress and continue continuing to regress and that six percent you might you guys might think that's small but percentage wise um that's pretty nuts that's pretty nutty <laughs> um and any survivor repairing a generator when it explodes will scream and suffer from the incapacitated status effect for 16 seconds and it has a cooldown of and i quote 30 seconds that's insane. That's pretty good. Along with Jolt, that makes things worse for them because that will regress the gens even more by 8%. They'll lose 8% of their progress. Um, whenever I down, whenever I hit somebody that next to a gen, the gen will explode. And once I down them, that will make eruption go off. And these two are just so freaking toxic. These guys are gonna have a hard freaking time. If I if I play uh, the loops right and everything, I pressure them off gens. They are probably gonna disconnect, dude. <laughs> they are probably gonna disconnect after that, dude. But that's the build. Now the add-on add-on wise, um, I don't know what to have on here. I mean, I do like the pink add-on where it um, whenever you have no hatchets, uh, you move at four point six minutes per second um i like that but i want to try something different try something new uh rose root increases thrown hatchet speed by 20 percent uh, uh hatchets inflict mangled i'll save that venomous con 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 concoction hatchets inflict inflict exhausted for i want that uh so we're going to expand Blindness for 60 seconds. Blindness always uh, oblivious. How about that? I want one that has oblivious. Does anyone have oblivious? Okay, guys, so I wanted one that has Oblivious in there, but there isn't any that I have yet um, that can cause the survivors to have um, Oblivious. But what I do have is the Undetectable for 15 seconds after reloading. Um, but I don't know if I want that. I, I don't know if I want that. Um, but I think... I think what I'll do is I'll have these add-ons on. Um, so basically, guys, what the Venomous Concoction is, 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 <laughs> uh, and I quote, Hatchets inflict exhausted for five seconds. So they become um, exhausted, which means no balance landing. 
um, no sprint burst. Uh, that, th that, uh, whenever they try to go on a hill, this, this add-on completely shuts down that gameplay. If they try to jump off of a, uh, a hill, this will com completely shut that down for five seconds. Now, you guys might think, one, 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 two, three, four, five, but no, it's not. Five seconds is a super long time, um... For them to not have it and that actually gives me a chance to probably catch up to them more easier you know especially my hatchets all you know and then the begrimmed head um and i quote hit target suffers from the mangled and hemorrhage status effect until fully healed which gives me an opportunity to like sneak up on them but i don't think they'll know where i'm even at you know um wait Wait, wait, wait. You know what? What if I change up something in my build? Um, because I have distressing. That increases my terror radius by 26%. And that with unnerving presence is Godlike tier, dude. Um, so we're gonna try distressing out first, and then we're gonna play a few more games of Huntress, and then see which build is better with, um, you know, those. But yeah, so that's our build. Mori, do, you want, do we wanna do Mori? Nah. I wanna have a challenge. Alright, now, the map. What map should we pick? This is kind of the hard part here. Um,. Um, should we, should we go to Crotus Pen? I don't like that map, though. Um, Grave of Glenville, I'll keep that one in mind. Uh, Backwater Swamp? Nah, dude, nah. That has grass in there, I don't, I don't need none of that. Golden Farm? Definitely not, that has grass. I need to see. Uh, Gideon Meat Plant? I, I don't think so, no. Uh, Midwitch? I'll keep that one in mind, too. Um, don't need that thing. Raccoon City? No. Um, no. There is Memorial Institute. No. Um, Strode House, Haddonfield? Nah. Red Fort? Red Forest? I'll definitely keep that one in mind. Uh, Springwood? No, Yamoka Estate. We, I mean, we literally just went there, so I, I don't think so. So you know what? No matter how big the red forest is, literally the huntress doesn't even care. I mean, she has hatchets, right? So what can really go go so wrong in this map? You know. Um. So let's let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot. I think this is a pretty decent build, and. I think we'll be good. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I need to stop changing my mind, dude. You know what? Okay, guys. So, next game, we'll do um, Jolt. I just keep thinking about um, X Ruin, and I, I want it in there. So... Alright, so this is our build. Let's go ahead and give it a shot and test the field. See how this build really works out. Alright guys, so here we go. We found a match. Um, so these are the guys we're going up against. We have a Kate, a Zarina, a Claudette, and a Jake. Um, the Zarina has a toolbox. We need to be mindful of that. Uh, a Jake has a med kit. Kate has a med kit. Um, so these guys might have insta heals, but as we saw last game, um, I might cut the clip here and put in what happened. So if you guys don't remember from the last match that we just had, um, with Clown, uh, when I went up to that Prestige 3, uh, Dwight, uh, he was healing like right in front of my face and he actually completely fully healed myself when I was about to hit him. 
Um, and I think I remember uh, before I literally just hit that Dwight and then when I came to find him again he was instantly just healing himself right after I literally just hit him. You need to be mindful that these guys are probably going to be doing the same thing or insta heals. You need to be mindful of that also. Um, and the Zarina had a, uh, had a toolbox, but, uh, this build would probably completely shut that down. Like, this build, I think, is pretty decent. Um, hopefully we have a decent game. I mean, if we don't win, if we don't win this, that's alright. Next game, we'll see if we can win. <laughs> alright. So we're probably gonna play like two more two more games after well three or four more actually. Um the next ones I probably won't discuss the build because Well actually I will, but they're gonna be simple builds. They're just gonna be basic builds. I'm not gonna do anything like these because it's getting late. I need to start having my uh lunch, but all right, so we're going to the red forest. I think this will be good for Huntress. Um, now, do you see anybody? Now, my terror radius is 20, 26% bigger, which means they are probably going to wander around and uh, scatter around. Probably. Is there nobody here, really? They're gonna be over here, right? Bro, these these guys probably had spine chill or something crazy, dude. What, dude? Bruh. Bruh. Dude. <gasps> no, not, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Shoot, man. Yeah, dude, these guys are on gens. Bro, dude, I can't even find them, bro. Wait, what happened to this thing? Oh, yeah, I have Hex Ruin. So. Yep, I saw him. You are so lucky. Alright, another one bites the dust. Put you over here, buddy. First gen done. Good info. Let's go reload. Alright. Now let's go back, see if they're gonna come for him. And... Let's go back over here, because the Claudette might come back. No, dude, that thing's down. For real, dude? Are they... 
<laughs> nope, they're coming. Huh. Is she going to lock her? Yeah, dudes. Sorry, buddy. Can't waste our time on them. Decisive. Let's check. See. No. That's one dead. Claudette, I need to leave her. She's taking me across the map. I cannot allow that. Serena was here. She's literally just leaving, man. Oh my god. Do I hear Jenba down below? Yep. Uh, come back here. That was good, dude. Hello. Let's throw that down. Get her out, we need to tunnel her out. This is good. This is good. We're at three gens. Two gens now. I think we can manage this. They are going to that gen, but you see my terror radius is, is pretty big. We need to make sure that she dies. Ah! 
Die, Zarina. Die. Die, Zarina. Die already. Come on. Shoot. Please don't have decisive. Please don't. Yes, let's go. She disconnected. Yes, she was going to die anyway. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, that's two kills. Let's go. They're not down below. Okay. This is good. We have, like, a little forge end here. This is good. This is good. This is really good. There's no way they're going to win now. What? <sighs> That was a good one. a good start dude this is a good start bro where are the freaking where are the hawks dude she's gonna struggle off frank dude Sorry, I had to do it. Yep, I saw him over there. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Let's go. Let's go. I saw them. I think they went on the hill. They were somewhere. I saw them, I swear. I am not blind. I saw somebody. Yep, I knew it. The K went back, but it's impossible to win now. I have so much pressure. <laughs> you guys can't get out, dude. Alright. Huh. They really just went away. Yeah, dude, you guys are so dead. Yeah, there's no way you guys are getting out, dude. There's no way. Yeah, I literally have a 3-gen here. There's no way you guys are getting out now. There's no freaking way. You guys did this to yourselves. You guys literally do this to yourselves, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yep. You poor thing. Oh, God. She's not even struggling. I think I went too far, guys. I think I went too far. This build... No. Dude. What? What's happening? Uh... I literally just lagged there, dude. Yeah. Are you gonna kill yourself, Kate? Let's see. I don't know, bro. Nobody's there. I feel bad, dude. 
got her. That's all right. Oh, she's gonna DC. Yeah. Whoa, dude. Uh. Bro. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, dude. She Bro, I think there's something wrong with Kate. Uh. Bro, there is something wrong with Kate. Dude, she's... Can I, like, undo it or something? I don't... What it? There's nowhere to run. Oh, you poor child. I don't think Claudia was here, was she? I don't know. She just keeps she just keeps rescuing. I'm literally gonna have to kill the Kate dude. Okay, I'm sorry. <gasps> Whoa! Bro. Whoa. Bro, I can't pick her up. What? Can, can you? Bro, I can't pick her up. Oh no, she she's going to DC. Uh Whoa. Yeah, I don't know, dude. That that Kate was she hacking or something? I I don't freaking know. All right, let's go find the hatch. Um, is it here? On the hill. This map is so big, I can't even. I don't think I'm going to find it. I don't think I'm going to find it. I think she's going to escape, dude. It's not by shack, so it's got to be somewhere near the doors. I don't know where it is. She's gonna escape. She's gonna escape, man. I think it's in the buildings. Unless it's over here. No. I think it's... I would be able to hear it, would I? Where is this hatch, dude? I have no idea. I found it. I found it. Poor girl. Yeah, bro. 
I don't even know where she's at. She's probably hiding in a locker. Or she's right here. There you go, then. There's the 4K, guys. You guys lost, you hear me? You lost! Stupid idiots. You lost! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. Alrighty. Oh my god. My goodness. Alright, now I need to see who we're gonna play now. I think I know, but I... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I... 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 I don't know. I... I don't know. But we need to see who I got, like, leveled up. Sort of. Uh, oh, I, oh, yeah, I got the challenge. Let's get it. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Uh, archives era. Uh, what happened? Uh, make a survivor scream 44 times. Unhook a survivor who unhooked you earlier. In the night. Okay, no. Uh. Hmm. Um, let's go here. What do we got? Let's do that. All right. Um, let's see. We already played clown. We already played huntress. Do I want to play the artist? I, I don't think I do. Who haven't I played at? Oh, I haven't played Legion. That's for sure. I have not played Legion. Or Spirit. Uh, or Bubba, either. Um, mm, let's do Bubba. Let's play Bubba. Alright. Um, I think this is the build that I'm just going to keep on Bubba. Because what other build is better, you know? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of another build, guys, but I don't think there is any, any other build that I want for him. So, yeah, uh, I think we're probably going to do one more match after this, and then we'll call it quits, alright? Had some pretty decent games today. Really decent, probably just all one. <laughs> um, we did have some DCs, but guys, if somebody DCs, that means you killed them. That means you, you basically won. You you beat them and you killed them. You know? Uh, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm. Okay. I guess I guess I'll explain the the build, guys. It's it's very simple. I'm just gonna keep it short. I don't want to make it too long, like 20 minutes long or something. Uh, we got barbecue chili. Basically, I literally just told you last game. 
uh, that just, um, whenever you hook a survivor on a hook 40 meters away from the hook, you can see the other survivor's auras. Uh, Hex Ruin will regress whenever a survivor gets off the gen. Um, no Ed, basically, a survivor, well, whenever uh, the gates are powered or whenever you finish the last gen, um, No Ed activates. But um, here's the thing, though, guys. Um, no Ed isn't um, a Hex, a Hex, um, totem. It originally is supposed to be just a random dull totem around the map, but whenever the uh, the generators all power up, uh, one of the dull random dull totems around the map turns into a hex totem. That's when you know you have no ed. Um, and basically that allows you to one shot uh, down survivors no matter if they're healed or not healed, you just insta down them. Uh, Dead Man Switch basically locks the generators in place. Nobody can touch the generators because the entity will be blocking them. So basically, the build is basically just protecting gens, making sure nobody ever gets out of the match. That's basically it. The add-ons we're using is knife scratches and the beat the beast marks. I really like these two add-ons because, for one, um. The add-on increases chainsaw sweep move movement by 2%, which means it's going to be much faster whenever you're using your chainsaw. Um, and it also increases the time required to charge the chainsaw by 14%. That's also really helpful, too, when you're going up against people. Um, the beast marks, what that does, it increases chainsaw sweep movement by 3%, which is pretty good. Uh, 3 and 2... 3 and... Three, 3 and 2 make 5, which is 5%. It's pretty big in percentage-wise. Um, and the Beast Marks also increases the time required to charge this, the chainsaw at 14%. So, really, this is increased chainsaw movement by 5%, and it increases the time required to, to charge the chainsaw by 28%, which is uh, very good. And that will help me out a lot. Now... Let's analyze the survivors that we're going up against. We have a Yunjin, all right, a Leon, a Nia, and a Fangmin. So the Nia has a toolbox, so she might be the one to rush to Jens. The others might be her accomplice and uh, help her out, you know, her little supporters. Um, probably hug the Jens tightly. Um... But other than that, the other guys seem like they're fine. I don't see any keys, no toolboxes, except for the Nia. Uh, no uh, other toolboxes, no other med kits, no other anything. So I think we're good. Um, so, uh, yeah. I think we could probably win this. But if we don't, then that's alright. I mean, it's the last... We basically won... The, um, two matches in a row so far. Uh, if we haven't lost once this video. Um, so if we lose this one, I'm totally fine with that. I mean, it's the, it's the end of the video. Um, but hey, it's always good to try to win, you know. Uh, yeah. So after this, we're to end the video off, I'm probably just going to play Nemesis. That's it. Same build from the last video. Same build, same everything. Same skin, same offering, same add-on, same uh, build, same everything. And just play them for the last, like, ten minutes of the, the video. Alright, we got Pale Rose, Backwater Swamp. I mean, I guess it's fine, but he doesn't really need to see that well. Uh, oh, we actually got a nice spread here, which means, okay, they're definitely in the building, so let's go after them. I don't see anything else at the corner of my eye. Oh, 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 oh.
Hello, Yunjin. Let's get this quick early down. Up quickly. Put her up here. All right. We did see the engine. She might be on the building still. All right. They're trying to grind up on the gens. What? Oh, that actually get her. Pick her up. They're gonna save. No, nope, they didn't save. All right. They're with their healing. That's right. We'll cancel that. Hello. Hello, Yunjin. Alright, she's actually doing good. We'll uh we'll go away from her. We will go back to this this guy over here. That's alright. We're not going to make that. Put you up right here. Let's see where everybody else is. Alright, go over here. Maybe we can make him get off of it. Hello guys, how's it going? Bro, my dude, are you serious right now? Popping up. Let's go back to the unhook. Get you down real quick. All right, we'll slug him. Yeah. 
We'll hook you once. Probably gonna finish another gen here in a few seconds, but that's alright. We'll get this guy as closest to us. They're both here. That was probably a dead hard. I will pick you up. I'll put you in the basement. This will give me a bit of pressure. Alright, we see him over there. That guy's working. Throw this. You can do it. Oh, oh now it's a GG. Jeez, guys. You guys did good. Alright. Now I think we have a little free gen to protect. They're not even working on these. Yeah, I think it's a GG. I think it's a GG, boys. <coughs> There's no way they're gonna be doing this journey, anyway, right? Yeah, it's it's GGs. Yeah, the moment I brought them to the basement and I was Bubba, there was no way that they were gonna get out. Don't hear anything? Yeah, it's GGs. It's, it's game over. Yeah. Yep, it's GG's. They can't do anything. What they might want to do is like spread out on the gens. One person on one person on one gen, one person on another, then one person. What was that? Maybe it was me, I don't know. But, yeah, there's no way for them to win this unless they literally just all spread out individually on every gen. But, there's no way that they're going to do that. They're not on comms, so... Um... Yeah, they're not going to be able to do gens. They're, they're just, uh, wait, they're just trying to waste my time. Because they know they're going to die.
Yeah, they can't do anything. These poor guys, dude. I see him. Sorry, pal. <laughs> Buddy, I don't know that you want to loot this. Nothing here, man. Ah! Sorry, pal. Ah! <sighs> All right. Let's go play in the basement. <laughs> Oh wait, that was this one right here, right? Yeah, that thing's regressing. Yep. There's no way for them to win this. There's no way. Yeah, he's killing himself. I kind of figured, man. There's, there's no way that he was going to win. Let's just see. Um, is he going to spawn here or no? Yes? No? Yes? Nope, it didn't. So it might be on the boat. Doesn't matter if she gets hatched. Oh, is it here? Is it here? No, it's not. Night here. All right, let's put her in basement. This is a good game. We won literally. We haven't lost a single time this video, man. That's that's insane. Oh my goodness. Ugh. That was a really good one. We, we gained a lot of blood points on this one. Alright. Well, we can do one more. Actually, I think let's just call it quits here. We have... So we played Clown. We played Huntress. Who else did we play? Did we, did, is that really it? Did we just play three? I don't know, guys. I'll have to... I'll have to check, but I think that was three games this video. But anyway, it was it was pretty decent. Let me just make sure. I think we played three, did we? Oh yeah, we. Oh yeah. So we played Huntress, Clown, Bubba. Do we play anybody else? I don't think. No, I don't think so. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this gameplay right here, though, guys. If you guys enjoyed uh, me playing as Bubba, Huntress, and um, a clown, make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button, please, if you haven't already done so, and that like button, and hit that, and hit that post notification bell, so you guys will get notified whenever I upload any of my videos. And as always, guys, I will see you guys all 
in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.